We have a news four exclusive to tell you about. It involves jewelry heists, one involving a jewelry store to the stars. A group of alleged mobsters now under arrest tonight. Investigators say they managed to pull the whole thing off by posing as construction workers. News 4 Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans has the story. Reputed Lucchese crime associate Frank Skip DiPietro was the first alleged jewel bandit let out of the 13th precinct this morning. He soon was followed by Vincent Spagnuolo. Then came Michael Selleck, who apparently was not happy to see our camera. Next was Vincent Sergio, followed by Samuel Source. All were led away by NYPD major K-Squad detectives and FBI agents. This alleged crew of Lucchese and Gambino associates are accused of targeting a jeweler to the stars, Baco Jewels, along Madison Avenue and East 61st Street. Their jewels worn by stars like Beyonce me and Rihanna, who wore $2.6 million worth of diamonds at Beyonce's post-Oscar party. To get into Baco's penthouse, you need an appointment and have to pass a credit check. But investigators say this crew decided to use construction outfits and force their way in just as Baco workers were loading up the ground floor display case. This just one of two holdups the FBI says the men were involved in, one back on January 3rd, another on May 20th. The police commissioner says the gunpoint holdups showed a callous disregard for life. The FBI says the robberies netted about $2 million worth of jewels in all. Prosecutors say this image shows DiPietro holding the gun and warning the clerk to, quote, give it to me. Selleck allegedly next is heard saying, turn around and get in the closet. The cameras in the store is not the only evidence. Police say they have images of the men getting dressed nearby in construction gear and then heading to the location. They say they also have phone records linking several of the suspects to one another before, during, and after the holdup. And there are images of the vehicles allegedly used to get to and from the locations. After this morning's arrests, the men were taken to federal court for appearances on the armed robbery conspiracy counts. Police say the second jewel heist was downtown along Elizabeth Street. As for one of the alleged ringleaders, Di Pietro, he has a past conviction related to a mafia killing of a witness. The suspects ordered held for now without bail. No comment from some defense attorneys. Messages left for others. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York.